We are now verbally live. So feel free to keep talking about boobs. Boobies and fake boobies. Which, Which is one is better? One? <laughs> or digital boobs, for that matter. Pixel porn. A boobs. Boobies and fake boobies. This graphics card is pixel porn. Look at him. all. <laughs> Pixels all over his face. I'm wondering when that that uh, pixel DG will switch over to the actual image. Take a couple weeks, I'm thinking. All right. So Facebook and Twitters are out. We're good to go. All right. that throw you ugly fools up here all right so hi guys hi how's it going how are you guys doing today good all right stretching i forgot to get a drink i might do that after rain comes in and jacks up my overlay but that's okay ole 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 all right so nice. the the big thing uh this weekend was blizzcon 2015 and um uh, yeah so a lot of a lot of stuff some heroes things some starcraft things some diablo things overwatch things and i'm missing a game hearthstone things <laughs> um so Maybe. a little bit of something from everything yeah i don't think you were missing anything <laughs> yeah <laughs> anyway so there's pretty much been either an expansion or a major patch or new or while over in Overwatch's case, new game, uh, all coming out in the next what couple months, right? This, I mean, I know some of it's coming out soon. Overwatch than that. is spring, spring right. this year or next year. <laughs> spring this year is dumb. <laughs> yeah, if it can't, it's coming out spring this year. They're just advertising. I think that's what that's called. So, uh, so I've got a couple of the trailers and things, and we're gonna talk about what we all think about it so feel free to weigh in <laughs> yeah that's right that's right dark <laughs> it's gone uh our very own dg or flyzik or flyzik man was there uh at the blizzcon representing dg with our new logo and t-shirt <laughs> and uh kind of got dicked out of a uh a, i guess a private show of the blizzcon uh dual hero uh for heroes of the storm uh which kind of sucks but i guess the uh turn i don't know which tournament it was that was still going on was it the heroes i think it was the heroes yeah, tournament the heroes. uh that was there was still still going on and they didn't want to release have any new spoilers released about um anything the new d3 buff bar yes yeah that too we'll get to that later dark but yeah so instead of like moving his spot till after the tournament or anything, anyone that was in that time slot, those time slots, pretty much just got screwed and canceled. So that kind of sucked because we had been posting throughout the day. We we're super excited about it, but it's all right. Blizzard doesn't care. So <laughs> fuck them. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that but, uh, so yeah. So anyway. <laughs> what uh, what do you guys want to talk about first? Heroes, because I know you guys play Heroes more than anything else out of the Blizzard games, right? As as of right now, yeah. Yeah. Maybe you know until Overwatch, we'll see. Overwatch, hey, another FPS just made by Blizzard. 
Anyway, we'll get to that too. So, yeah, all right. So, be so with heroes, I'm gonna pop up this uh, the video for the uh, trailer for heroes. Uh, there's two of them. There will be the 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 I think it's the dual hero trailer, and then there's an arena trailer, which is also coming to heroes. It should be pretty nifty. So, let's get that going here. Let's see if I do this right. All right. So that was the general trailer. I'm going to show the uh, arena-specific one right now. We'll discuss it. The Nexus is a realm of endless conflict. A crucible for heroes ripped from countless worlds. In this new battleground, Fate will decide their allies and their enemies. Now they face a greater trial. Here, anything can happen. The challenge is upon you, for soon you will enter the arena! Alright, so, first let's go with the, uh, we'll just, we'll touch on the arena, and this actually, because of Dark and B talking about the, um, Hearthstone expansion, you know, they have the arena mode in that. Do you think the Heroes Arena is going to be like that with the randomized? Like, are you going to get to pick your hero and then get completely randomized, like, teams? Or do you get a random hero and pick your abilities? What do you think? I think it's completely random. I mean, as far as your hero, anyway, I didn't... Yeah, now, like, you just mean everything, or... Like how your hero is with with the, what abilities and all that, or I don't know about the leveling choices. Yeah. What about you, Mike? What do you think? Uh, well, I re I read on I don't know how definite uh, Hero Nexus is, but they had like their little 
a thing on it, and it was saying that you'd pick your hero, and then you'd pretty much pick your uh, heroic ability, and it wouldn't necessarily be, you know, the one that that character is, and obviously you can tell that, you know, everybody can be anybody, there's no, you know, canceling out characters that somebody else already picked, mm-hmm. so I, I don't know, I mean, it I mean, that video shows that you would think it'd be all random, the way they had their little slot machine that's, thing going on. Yeah, and that's that's <laughs> so, what it looked like, yeah. I, I was kind of wondering, because, I mean, sort of like how with Hearthstone, just, I know I know Hearthstone and Heroes are not the same thing, but because it's called the Arena, and, you know, there's the Arena, I figured they'd follow some similar principles being the same company and stuff, so I'm wondering if it's going to be kind of like a... Uh, a... You know, you pick your hero from like a panel of say three random heroes kind of like with the arena so you pick one of a random numbered thing of heroes and then you pick your abilities you know sort of like how you pick your cards like these abilities will pop up you pick one these abilities will pop up you pick one and you sort of have to develop a spec as you're going that i think that'd be kind of cool but who knows even it just being random is, is cool enough really because it means mm-hmm. you will never have the same exact fight, you know. That's, right. So that's pretty cool. Theoretically, the, the five Illidans, no, the five Illidans, Illidans. <laughs> that would take an insane amount of chance to really, um, really have something like that happen. That'd be crazy. So, um, yeah, but that's that'll be interesting to check out. I'm not a big heroes player, as you guys know, but who knows. Mike, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I'm chilling. That's what I'm doing. So, all right. So now the other thing would be like the new classes. So, uh, Mike, you're probably more on to the classes than any of us. So what, uh, I don't know. Can you explain something about the Worgens and and the Dryad, I guess? Which one are you well, think? Well, they, I, I haven't seen, I've only seen stuff on Cho'Gall so far. It's. Okay. That's about it. I mean, the other two are still uh, a damage, just an assassin type. Mm-hmm. The the dryad, she's a uh, what is her name, Luana or whatever. Le- Liana. Liana, she's a uh, she's just gonna be a ranged. Right. And as you see with the war again, he's gonna be like a melee, but he does have his guns when he's in his human form. Right. So you he's know, got kind of like two different roles he could yeah, maybe kind of play. Kind of both look like they have their their pouncing. She's she's got her. She was jumping around as you could tell, and mm-hmm. then him transforming into his worgen, kind of doing a pounce. Right, right. But with uh, Trogal, uh, two players, one character. Each character yeah. is gonna gonna pick uh, pick one of the heads to play, uh, and I believe the head that's like the tank tank type will be the one that moves the body. Okay. And then when you pick the other head, which is gonna be the damage, is so probably I mean... just gonna be a range. Have and have you you've played as Cho'Gall already in beta? No, no, I haven't. Oh, you haven't done anything with it. No, okay. Well, yeah, you'd have to do the public test realm. Right. Oh, if, okay. If, yeah. if they if they even put them in there, you may not have necessarily even put them in there. Okay. So, like, I mean, what do you think? Like, you can like, there's modes to play because I mean, what or what? I mean, I imagine if one person uses say, some tank ability, it's still going to put everything else on cooldown. You're not going to be able to just use your your tank stuff and instantly use all of your, like, damage or whatever, heal stuff or whatever. Well, How, he's, how's not they necessarily gonna do gonna, that? he's not necessarily going to have heal stuff. You know, I mean, it's each each side's probably going to have its own cooldowns. Right. I really doubt they'll probably interact with each other. But you're probably going to be, you know, one to two abilities up. Uh, Ahead, you know. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. So okay. in order to keep from being overpowered. Right, right, right. Yeah, and that's that's the whole thing. I mean, the other thing too is, uh, I don't, you know, and I don't. Again, I'm not all that uh, into it, but like, does that take so? You know, generally you have a five five v five player match, correct? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, is it going to be? Still a five v five, but two players are in one mob. You know, one. Yeah, it'll be five people out there, but there'll only four, be, there'll be four physically heroes. four bodies. Right. Okay. On the map. So that'll throw in some interesting strategies. Does everyone so blitz the hero? Or... <clears throat> right. Yeah, I mean, you're not going to be able to just solo him. 
unless I mean the players are pretty terrible. But yeah. All right. that'll be interesting. Or do you or do the uh, opposing players just completely avoid him at all costs? <laughs> Or try to just someone tries to distract them and keep them kind well, of I mean, out of the main stuff. Technically, you would think it would still be two v one. I mean, you're going to have a tank and a damage right there right. on you if you right. go at him. So you still got to play him like he's two people. Right. It'll be interesting. It'll be real interesting to see, uh, like how on some of the maps where you know you summon kind of summon bosses and stuff to see how he's able to like maybe solo the boss or uh or if you know when everyone's going to say get their coins or whatever do you just leave him up top and let those two players just keep pushing and things there's gonna be some it's definitely gonna throw in a lot of different uh situations and scenarios to deal with yeah but with it being two people i would definitely want him better with every fight because then you're technically you're out of a fight right. with people Right, right, Which yeah. Is, versus one person being a specialist, then that's just one person being able to just kind of still attack towers, whatnot, up top. Right. If everybody else can, like, handle themselves in a... Right, and that's, that's true. You are, essentially, if, if he's not there, you're down two players when you're going to, you know, say, get coins or, or uh, you know, go into the mine to, to do... To kill kill all the peoples and the boss and stuff, you are essentially down two players. And if the whole other team commits, then you're insanely outnumbered. If you just leave the hero, the dual hero, out of it, yeah, yeah, it's you're right. I mean, you definitely won't have to do any crazy strategy. You could stick to like normal, normal strategy play, I guess, and just uh, still be pretty viable. I don't know. Uh, I'm interested to see how that goes. Yeah, that'll be interesting. Yeah. Um, with Hearthstone, <laughs> we'll touch on that briefly. Yeah, like uh, Dark and B had said in chat, there is a new expansion coming out, um, the League of Explorers, and from what I understand, that's just like a, it's it's adding another random element to Hearthstone. Which, if you've ever played Hearthstone, there's a lot of that. I mean, you're already randomly gonna, you already have a random chance to draw whatever cards you have in your deck. Um, but, you know, then there's all the other new cards that they've added to it that, you know, you can get a random legendary or a death rattle random legendary and just all this crazy stuff. And I think a lot of that's to allow the players that don't necessarily have either the money or the time to get all the cards to still be able to chance playing some, uh, <laughs> yes, that is Chewy B. Chewy. <laughs> he's always the attention whore. Yeah, he's a whore, all right. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Dark. And, like, you know, you get some overwhelming things, but, like I said, I think that's, like, they, they definitely wanted to incorporate more people more than balance it, because that game is definitely not balanced by having that big of a random element to it. That's for damn sure. Mm, yeah, well, and then that's the other thing, too. Like, it's real hard with card games because you still want the original old stuff to be viable to some extent for new players or, you know, anyone that wants to incorporate those cards into other strategies. So it's it's, it's definitely tough balancing card games. Yes. Thank you, Chewy. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how that plays. I think the, the Heroes League, I forget exactly which card, but... One of one of the main things is like you get three cards, shown three cards, and you pick one of them, and all three of those cards are not necessarily from your deck; they're just random cards. <laughs> and I, I I think you just you pick one of them and you can and you get that card. I don't I don't remember exactly. What no. No, Dark, trust me, I'm, I have the worst ever. I think the only expansion I ever beat with up to Hearthstone was, I think, I beat Nax, and I was working on Blackrock, and then I started to kind of fall away from it. But the Tavern Brawls are fun. Those are a lot of fun. Those get ridiculous. And I still like doing Arena, because then you get to play with cards you may not have ever seen before, and don't have. So... What do you think about the Explorers League, Mike? 
And Craig, I don't, Craig doesn't even play Hearthstone. Horrible at card games. I have the worst. Yeah, you are pretty bad. I've, I've no beaten cards. you many times. <laughs> Craig, it's free game. You have cards, okay? You have the basic no. starter set. I've never even launched it, so no, I don't have cards. Oh, they're there. There's a potential for you to have cards. They're there. Yeah, it doesn't interest me. In which in which wing? BRD. <laughs> yes. Yes, 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 yes. Go downstairs. Try. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't fall downstairs. Just go down though. Just hear shit breaking in the background. What you don't see is Craig's foot pushing him. I'm gonna finish my garage and start doing podcasts out there. <laughs> See Craig just bundled up in a freaking he's got oh, no, a space I'm heater next to bitch. him. I don't like the cold. <laughs> it's good, good, <laughs> good thing you live in Ohio. It's a good place to. Hey, Mike, the can cold. you run some electric for me? <laughs> 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 Only if he gets to do it like the video. <laughs> All gas. <laughs> okay. Actually, I already do have gas out there, so yeah, that would be the prime option. Oh my god, that's not that's not good. It's, it's called asphyxiation, Craig. Okay, it's not good. Not a thing you should do, especially just well. Just it and let it ride. Unless, unless you're It'd be an interesting podcast, though. I was sure gonna say, if you do it on the trick. podcast, I'm okay with it. Mike's close enough where he could probably get to you before you actually die after you pass out. That's amazing. <laughs> he'd, he'd think about it. Yeah. I don't promise shit. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh yeah, the first one in X. Yeah, that that was. That was crazy, and I was grinding. I didn't buy any of it. I was just grinding away coins, doing dailies and crap. It just took forever, yeah. but I did it. And then yeah, I didn't finish Blackrock because I I just found other games to waste my time on. <laughs> um. But anyway, so let's check out the the World of Warcraft expansions coming out. Legion. So, they're bringing back the Burning Legion. I don't know the uh, quite details of it. They didn't release a whole lot in the trailer other than the Psycho Alliance leader is now... Well, here, we'll watch the video and you'll find out. Let's just do that. My son. A terrible darkness has returned to our world. As before, it seeks to annihilate everything that we hold dear. I go to face it, knowing I may not return. All my life I have lived by the sword. I've seen kingdoms burn and watched brave heroes die in vain. It's been difficult for me to trust after losing so much. From you, I have learned patience, tolerance, and faith.
I now believe as you do. That peace is the noblest aspiration. But to preserve it, you must be willing to fight. So, what do you think of the new expansion? Again, I know none of us have played WoW in quite a while, but they're bringing back the Burning Legion. It looks like Horde and uh, Alliance are together again. Yeah, just bring back Burning Crusade. I know, I know. That's pretty much that's yeah, same thing I feel like. it's Except that this looks like it's happening on the planet. I don't know, there's like some... Uh, what some thing shooting all that shit up into the air and creating, I guess, some kind of portal between worlds or whatever, so... Eh, hell, it's always been the portals, but yeah, it looks and like it's, it's fine. Everything's just opening up and just raising all hell. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, they didn't show too much of what's going on there other than the initial attack, so you kind of wonder how... Um, you know, I mean, the Burning Legion always affected the orcs, right? So... How's that going to kind of play into anything? Or are the orcs finally like free on their own, just going to stick with the horde? I think it'd be cool to see them split away again, get tainted by the whatever the Burning Legion stuff. Well, no, I guess they just got tainted because of the. Well, no, they were pawns of the Burning Legion, right? Is that pretty much what it was? Way back in like Warcraft 3. Right. <laughs> My lore on Warcraft is I know that's is very minimal, <laughs> a little limited. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, the story's still going. I mean, at this point, if you watch like all any Warcraft, all the Warcraft trailers together, you could probably watch almost a full movie. Speaking of which, have you guys seen the Warcraft trailer, movie trailer? Oh yeah, it looks yeah yeah. It looks amazing. Yeah, it looks it looks pretty good. I'm I'm excited. I'm glad that they started it with like the World of Warcraft part of it. I, I was initially I was kind of thinking they were going to start it with uh like the original Warcraft where it was just orcs versus humans. And, but then you see uh, oh spoiler alert by the way if you haven't seen the trailer I don't know that I'm going to show it here right away but <laughs> um you know you see Thrall you kind of see him meet uh the tauren and all that stuff and whatever so that's kind of cool tauren were my favorite race so the fact that they're potentially going to have a presence in the movie at some point is pretty cool so just just like in heroes of the storm i want to see some damn trolls There's no trolls in there no yet. trolls in here yeah yeah no trolls you you would no like one. you would like the trolls that makes sense what do you think my hunter is yeah i know well i I uh, changed him multiple times. He was Blood Elf, and then Orc, and now a Troll. I had a mage troll named Buttrub. That doesn't was... surprise me. Did he look sickly, I bet? No, no. Oh, I mean, he looked as ugly as any troll, but no. He's, he's a mage. Troll. I ran arenas with him, believe it or not. <laughs> Lots of PvP with, with him. It was fun. It was lots of fun. Um, so, let's see. What else? What else is going on with the BlizzCon? Um, Diablo 3's got a new patch coming up. I don't know. Have you read any of that, Mike? I have. No, that I checked it out. Um, I think Dark mentioned it earlier. They're making uh, like a buff bar, so you could actually see all the 18 bajillion buffs you end up having. <laughs> Uh, but I guess it's a buff bar. Maybe you can enable or disable because I feel like if you had all the buffs showing, you wouldn't be able to see shit. Um, and then they're adding two. I think it said two new areas, like over a hundred. 
like 120 more bounties, mostly oh, in Acts 3 through 5. Um, this season is going to be wrapping up, I think, th- this month. And there'll be like a two-week gap, and they'll start season five, which will last for three months. Um, also, they're adding dungeons, set-specific dungeons. So y- you get a whole set, and there's, uh, I believe it's four, excuse me, four dungeons per class. So tw- 24 total, they said. And if you finish all 24, you get some more wings. So I know you like your wings. More wings. More oh. wings. And then, See the wings that you get from Overwatch. Yeah, I haven't. Yeah, I don't know about all that crap. I don't have. <laughs> I, I I wish that I was on top of all that to get all that all those little things, but I'm I'm pretty against a lot of beta stuff now. Uh, well, it's just special edition when you buy the collectors. The collectors. Edition, that's that's okay, where you yeah. get most of the wings. Okay. Yeah. It's collections of other games. Yeah. But so that's a cool thing though that Blizzard's been doing is they've sort of, in a way, merged all their games together with little bonuses like pets. From Blizzard this gives game. you wings. <laughs> yeah, right next Red Bull commercial. Red Bull. Oh, God. <laughs> Just Blizzard. Um. Yeah, so I don't know. There's there's a lot. It's very intriguing. Uh, I'd said before. The, the thing with Blizzard, like, say, if you have a, a PC or a laptop or something that's kind of strapped and you don't have the money to be buying all these games or the time to play all these games, the nice thing with Blizzard is you kind of have most genres covered now with uh, with those, with uh, their titles. I mean, you've got an RTS, you've got a hack and slash, you've got... An MMO, you've got a card game, you've got it now coming out, a first-person shooter. Um, so, I mean, they're definitely spreading out. They just want to take over everything and make make everyone just stay with Blizzard. Just stay with them. I wonder how the graphics are going to look. I haven't seen any videos or anything for Overwatch. Uh, have you played Overwatch at all, Mike? Mm-mm. No, no. Okay. I didn't know if you got in the beta or did anything with that. No, I didn't get any of that. I just watched a few videos, they, which they look pretty good, but it doesn't look overly demanding. Yeah, yeah. and that's the thing. Blizzard games, for the most I part, I think aren't frame rate's demanding. the most important thing in shooters. Yeah, I mean, it looked smooth. It just, uh, you know, I don't know. Part of me, like the Blizzard um, art style, it's still that real colorful, cartoony kind of. Yeah, which. Yeah. I, I get in the moods for it, but I'm not. I don't like it enough to stick with it all the time. I'd rather play like there's other types of look like games. Like Battlefront. I Woo! You're right. Yes, like, like Battlefront. Yeah, I'm glad that didn't look cartoony. Imagine if they made that look like the Rebels. <laughs> no. Oh man. Nope. That'd be bad news bears. Yeah, yeah, that'd be that'd be terrible. That'd be terrible. Bad. Um. So we didn't touch on StarCraft yet, and I actually want... have It's another one of that many games I've wanted to play more, but because of the demanding skill set for certain games I want to play, I don't have the time to really focus on them for any yeah, just stick to reasonable one amount of time. Game. Exactly, and there's so many games out there. How, how do you ju- how, Really, how do you justify sticking with one if you like multiple genres? I mean, if you're a hardcore first person, or hardcore RTS, or, or whatever... MOBA player, then it's a little more manageable to be jumping games because there's similar skills there. But mm-hmm. if you like RTS, you like first person, you like MOBAs, you like MMOs, RPGs. Not... Right, exactly. That's where I was going with the MMOs. But yeah, right. like you can't develop Single a top tier skill set in anything if you're trying to do that, unless you don't have anything else to do with your life. And unfortunately, I still need to make money. <laughs> so. okay. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, um, but you know, one day, one day, I'll be able to just, focus just my efforts day. again. Not for, not for <laughs> one day. Just for one day. <laughs> not, not, not for I have one ten day. A year now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Saiji. What's up, man? Oh man. ASB, we know you're a hardcore Minecrafter. Yes. 
And that's another one too. I mean, there's so much to do in Minecraft that I don't have time to play all the aspects of it if I wanted yeah, to. I can't even start that. Yeah. And that's the other thing too. The, the games that have been out for, what, a decade or more? Being a new player in that, it's almost overwhelming to the point where you don't even want to try it. You know what I mean? Like, I'll play something that's brand new that no one's played, you know, instead of diving into something that's been around for 10 years that I know nothing about, and the learning curve is just huge. It's crazy. Yeah. Right. Uncrustables. Wonderful, Saiji. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? You don't know... You don't know like an uncrustable is? jelly sandwich without crust? Yeah. Oh. It's kind of like a circle cut sandwich. Yeah, you nerd. They're like, like packaged? Oh, for fuck's sakes, yes. Oh, it's no, like no. you and your fucking pizza rolls. Pizza rolls? Yes, well. Or, you know, you know, you know what I'm saying. I make PB and J the old fashioned way. Oh. With crust. Well, you're just old school, dude. <laughs> Hey, in the Kokiri Forest, we don't get packaged food. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, you're just little elves and trees making cookies. There you go, Craig. Oh, yeah. there, there's the Uncrustable for you. <laughs> and that's an Uncrustable. Oh, well, I don't know. You, you, might, you might not have seen it, but you'll see it. Yeah, I see yeah it. there you go. Yeah. It looks like a... I don't know. Schmuckers. Oh shit! Yeah, let me get off of my. Phone. It's one of those iron pies. <laughs> it's like a pot pie with pie. with peanut butter and jelly in it. They're called yeah. pie, pie irons, Craig. Not oh, iron they, they, pie. they've got pie. all kinds. Whatever the fuck. <laughs> a pie they, iron is what you make it with, and iron pie is what it is after you take it out. No, of the just pie iron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Your face just exploded. They, they've got so many different ones too. Like they've got chocolate ones. It's actually pre it's actually pretty Damn amazing. It, I want those now, motherfuck. Uh, they're probably filled with sugar, Mike. That's not. Oh, shut uh, up. Sometimes you just can't give a fuck, and you just got to do it. Sometimes you just have to eat twenty-seven candy bars and have diabetes. That's Bob. Then I, told Bob. Me I was going to become diabetic one day and I wouldn't be able to drink Mountain Dew anymore. I said, fuck that till I die. <laughs> yeah, you'll be singing a different tune when you become diabetic. Yeah, probably. <laughs> or if he's not already, right? Yeah. <laughs> Plenty of people out there, probably I'm one of them, that are diabetic and, every, and don't every, know it. Borderline, that's... Everyone's borderline. Yeah, it's a very fine, thin line to, to wander on nowadays. Like that switch. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Oh god, here we go. Here is where the interface gets fucked up. Uh, ooh, Mark's here. Yeah, I gotta hold on. I'll, I gotta call him. He tried calling me, but I'm not. I'm not playing that game. Three have to. <laughs> yes, Mike. We have to. Can't we say no to the rage? Nope. He offered. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Ed people. It's <laughs> <laughs> gonna get on here. Fuck you, Mike. Yep, see, there goes the overlay. It's all fucked up now. God damn it. <laughs> Way to go, Mark. And the call failed. What Way the hell, Mark? <laughs> He's not oh, even on here. I got stuck with him. Mark! <laughs> what the Shit. fuck, dude? <laughs> Yeah. Wait, no, half of me stuck to Craig and half of me stuck to Mark. <laughs> I'll mess with that here in a second. That's funny. Uh, where is he? Fuck. If I'm gonna mess all this shit up, he better show up. Hey, look, it's Mark. No, that's not Mark. Yeah. Who'd have known Wookiees had a split personality? <laughs> Mark Rain is not a Wookiee. Where did he go? What the. I'm gonna murder this kid. <laughs> I can't add him again to it. Alright, I'm removing you. Who? Uh, Mark. I was definitely. Rain! Fucking answer your damn phone, stupid. How would I. I'm not rating this video call. I am so not picking him up at the airport now. <laughs> Alright, well, I could still crop it while we're waiting for him to get his shit fixed. Uh, 
Alright, let's see. Craig, why don't you join in and play cars? <laughs> oh, there you are. You are joining in and playing cars. Uh, really? What the? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is wrong with him? Is that a new bag? No, no it's the same bag. Oh, God. <laughs> the mouth was cut out. There's a large cigar. Alright, there. I sort of fixed... Craig, I gotta fix Mike <laughs> somehow. I swear, if that bag catches on fire, this is gonna be the best <laughs> podcast Dude, ever. That would be so awesome. <laughs> by, by the way, that. yeah, we can't hear you at all. Oh, we're doing this again. You have, to, you have to unmute yourself, like you always have to. You probably have to restart <laughs> Skype too. You fucking retard. Oh. oh Jesus! <laughs> You're gonna make hey, hey, copyright, 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 copyright. Shut the song off, you crackhead. Do not own oh, right copyright. Yeah, it'll mute. We can't mute. Don't they don't know. They don't know. You have any idea how know. many videos get muted? Myself. <laughs> <laughs> and DG's first lawsuit. <laughs> yeah, there's no such thing as bad publicity. In... <laughs> when you don't have the money to support it, there's yeah. I oh, like it's 2015, man. It doesn't you. matter anymore. <laughs> Obama will take care of us. Mm. Uh, where's my fucking? I don't have my face isn't on the screen. Just and now we're missing. Oh, there's I'm, a fucking reason for that. I'm half and half with Craig. That's I'm sit really on sit on right. the other side. So right, first right. off, that's not Craig. <laughs> Secondly, Mike. that's Mike. Wait, what? Then why in the Skype call does it look like there's a fucking Wookiee? What? Did I don't you ever accept the Skype a friend call. request? In the Skype? No, probably not. You're no, I, I declined it, actually. Fine. There we go. Wow. <laughs> not fucking surprised. Oh, that's Oops. hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> what the? I had a piece of tobacco stuck in my mouth. I couldn't get it out. <laughs> Got tobacco stuck cool. in your bag. Oh yeah, and this is incredibly uncomfortable to. Hold. All right, that's that's gonna work. I'm not gonna add another scene and in my crap. Stuck straight. I'm gonna look like a giraffe later. M M Mark, all right, you do know that you you you're like. What does Mike always call you? I don't know, an asshole. Marcel. <laughs> now, what is it? What, what the I hell? What, what I don't know. About? Mark got so pissed that he was going to punch you in the face when he sees you. About yeah, what you refer to. It's going to be a muted podcast. What? Are you talking about a muted the podcast? The entire time. He's like, <laughs> copyright. Why am I in the right corner with Mike? Get me out of here. No, you want to get picked up at the airport? Yeah. Deal with it. You know what? Deal with I, it. Well, I'll find you. I know where you live. I don't oh, think you do. Shit, Sherlock. Uh, uh, south, southeastern Ohio. I feel like you're lying, Craig. <laughs> you're an untrustworthy son of a bitch. Now Mike's a badass. He lives in Detroit. <laughs> so, so, all right. So, let, all right. Let's talk about the trip a little bit. So, are you bringing Sly with you, or is Sly coming to just get me by myself at one in the Absolutely morning? Absolutely not. I am not bringing Sly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, first off, Sly's already in Ohio, lives right down the never mind. I'm right or, down or are you guys all are you guys all staying there till twelve thirty in the morning in, in Detroit? I yeah, mean, actually that is a good good idea a good idea to talk cause, about. Because after after Alicia gets there at eight whatever, assuming there's no delays or anything, I mean that's four hour difference <laughs> before I get there. Well, I'm just saying it was all in fine that I was going to have four people to pick up 
But now there's a fifth, and I don't exactly have that much room in my vehicle for six people. What kind of car do you have? Um, it's, it's a one door car. <laughs> oh, oh, he, he, he's, he's picking us up on his bike. He's picking us up on his bike. Motorcycle. I, it's with whatever. a side with a sidecar. He's getting a sidecar. An avalanche that can fit pe three people in the back, fine, you know, and then the driver and another passenger. So that would have been perfect until somebody else is flying in now. Oh yeah, I, I know. Dastin fucked it up for everyone. That's right. Well, we can always um. Throw people in the back. With the luggage. With the truck. Well, is, it, is it a cap? Is there a cap on the back? No. No, it's right, got... you got to buy one now. The, and then we'll open it. <laughs> well, I mean, it's got the three panels that I can remove from the... I mean, the bed's covered, in a sense. It's not mm. tall. You just got to kind of lay down. Lay down and suffocate and with, with that thing on. Yeah. You're, you're small. You could probably sit up back there. Yeah, you're small, too. <laughs> I mean, it'd be a good place for Rage and Rain. Am I allowed to curse or no? No. It's copyrighted. Copyrighted? Yeah, okay. But I own the rights, so go ahead. Can you please tell me why I'm in the corner with Mike? I, I don't like it. <laughs> Shut, because I'm not adding a whole nother scene because you were late, okay? We've talked about this before you got here. You were going to fuck up my overlay, and I'm not... Well, oh, I don't know, man. That. Fucking plan ahead. How? How Wait, do I do I, that? Or, sorry, copyright, right. How, how, how do I do that? <laughs> really? <laughs> look Look at the drool on his bag. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. yeah it's... <laughs> <laughs> and what are you wearing on your head? It looks like a shower. pillow cushion. What is a shower cap from Africa? Right. It's not from Africa, it's from India. Authentic. <laughs> Co covering that full head of hair. Now, now I have, I'm putting it back on. You, you should definitely should have drew some hair in there, so you look like you had... Yeah. Yeah. Do you have, should. Is, that, is there sequins on that thing? <laughs> <laughs> now you're going to get ink on India. Never mind. You slay me. You slay me. <sighs> All right. Later, Saiji. Thanks for stopping by, sir. So, Bye. Mark, you, you missed all of the conversation about BlizzCon and Heroes. And he muted himself again. The biggest piece of shit thing no, ever. No, I, di I didn't. I didn't mute my shot. Oh, there you are. Am I back? Yeah, you're back. Okay. Uh. What day are you getting in, Jason? Uh, same day. Uh, just well, Wednesday, technically. the sixteenth. Yeah, I mean, but twelve thirty-eight, like that night, twelve thirty. So, no, I mean, if anything, I there's definitely enough time in between. If, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> shut the hell up, man. Just shut up. <laughs> Why are you here? Why? Because you wouldn't come in here on time. Yeah. This is, this is your fault. You have nobody to blame but yourself. Nice headphones. Are those earmuffs? <laughs> Yeah. Where'd yes, you get it? From the flea market? Cold. Yes. Flea market. Look who's talking. Right? <laughs> what? My <laughs> headphones. Your piece of shit headphones. And look at your face. Well, your broke. face looked like it came from the flea market. They weren't a piece of shit when I first got them. They, you know, they were a lot better before. And then I broke them. So let's get <laughs> new ones. Uh, He's busy buying shirts and logos and shit. <laughs> Okay. All right. So, Mike, let's get a little bit back on track for a minute, anyway. For StarCraft, you did the Archon. Is, is that correct? The Archon mm -hmm. system, which is very similar to what they're doing with Heroes and the dual hero thing. Sort of, I guess, yeah. but not really, because 
it's yes and no. A totally different role or totally different style of game. Yeah, in Archon mode, you just two people share one command center and the same race, everything, and you just you have to build together, work together off of the same shit. Mm -hmm. And what have, uh, what what's been your experience with that? It's shitty. But that's just because the person I was playing with was an asshole. Do, do you feel like it's a good, like it'd be a fun, like a, it's a good system? Oh, I think it would be a blast. Need I mean, to have if you, agreeable if you people together. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. and you just. <laughs> you heard him. What are you laughing at? <laughs> the sounds coming oh, out of your. Coming in your face. Whenever I move my head. You're not even moving! <laughs> I'm just moving my cigar. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you burn yourself. Mm. Anywho. Anyone but yeah, yeah. It? Playing with Joseph was was god awful because everything I did, he, was, ah, he just started bitching, acting like we were in some ranked match. You know, not having fun. Yeah. So I just said fuck you, and I just sat there and watched him do everything else and lose. But no, yeah, if you're with somebody that's not going to be a complete jerk about how you play and just, and, and and just be agreeable, be... yeah, yeah. Oh. Right, right, right. Stop staring at me, Mike. Mark, please, the static. You've chased away every single one of our viewers because of it. Is it bad? <laughs> it comes in waves. <laughs> I don't know why. I think it's when like I touch it. Well, it's on the bag right now. Oh, that's probably why it's so much static. The bag's talking. All right, I'm gonna mute so I that's don't better. screw everybody up. What? And how are you gonna talk? <laughs> there you go. That's how he's gonna talk. <laughs> I, I can only read braille. I can't read lips. Note card. It's even harder to read it in a bag. What what the hell is that behind you? Is it a Dota Two International some shit? Yeah, yeah, it is it, great. Yeah. <laughs> nope, nope. That whatever you just did still can't hear you. We definitely went to hell real quick. <laughs> I feel like that didn't improve anything. <laughs> it hasn't changed the damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> Wires. <laughs> we can't hear you, Mark. There's no sound coming out of anywhere. <laughs> can't. I don't know. I don't know how to talk to this kid. I want to know what that shit is behind you. I'm good. Can you hear me now? Yes. All right. Explain behind you. All right. What do you want? What, the shit behind me. There's a brick wall. Oh, the Dota bag. <laughs> oh, it's a bag. It looked like a whole like. I know. I don't know. That's poster. The fucking bag is. It, it, like I bought two things. They were this big, actually. Still can't I believe he doesn't use two, the fucking I computer. I bought two there. little cush things, and they gave me that big ass bag. <laughs> he just threw the cooch thing. Yeah. Well, you know. This is so much easier to move my head without that fucking hat on. <laughs> <laughs> Some things should stay in India. I look like Voldemort with no nose. The, he who cannot be named? He who cannot be named, yeah. Uh -oh, All right, you, well, there's well, an we animal behind about, you, Mike. We were talking about Archon? Archon mode for StarCraft 2. On mode. Well, what is that? Hey, Mike. So, uh, Archon mode. <laughs> Two people play one one race, one command center. You build off of that. You know, in StarCraft, how people would play like team team matches, and they'd each have separate bases and all know, that. bases, and just everything was separate. You controlled your own units. It's all, all shared. Like you all right, build so, off the same same things. Uh, you, you control the same units. Let, let, let me let me put it in terms that Markle maybe understand. Um, you remember Red Alert Two? Remember the Mirage Tank incident? Yeah, a okay. tree in the tree in the street. The tree in the road. Yeah, yeah. Then then we got slaughtered. Well, 
imagine Red Alert 2, instead of us having our own separate bases, we have one base, and we can both interact with everything in the base, and the, and the units and everything, at the same time. Oh, okay. Mike, why don't you just say that? I'm sorry, I forgot about the Mirage tree. <laughs> The Mirage tank. I, I forgot to relate everything I talked to you about with Mirage trees. <laughs> Did uh, I tell you I'm upset that I'm next to Mike yet? <laughs> yes. Okay. I, I, you know, I hope you make him sit in the front fucking seat right next to you, Mike. Oh, pl- I, I already called shotgun. I'm also sleeping in your bed too. I don't know. If, I, I already call it. Sleeping no. in Mike's bed. No, I got it. I got a porch. Some some things we will not be streaming. Got a just porch. so you, you people know. <laughs> porch that you can sleep on. Thanks. I can't wait. Um, Sly, have you do you play RTS games at all? Have you played? Is that a yes. thing you do or not really? Well, Clash is an RTS, but uh, no, I play. We're not talking um, about mobile pieces of crap, okay? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. No, I uh. I played some RTS games. Pikmin is actually an RTS. Um, like for uh, GameCube? Yeah. It's more it's of an adventure game also. than I call know. RTS. Well, no, because you're still just placing I troops. Know, I mean, it's got some action to it, but you're still commanding troops. armies and sending them to do different things at different times. To Have you have you played the StarCraft 2 at all? No. Well, uh, play it because the multiplayer is uh, free. So stop. Being I'm downloading a little... it right now. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> but <laughs> well, the attitude in this room needs to be. It, it kind of went. It kind of went downhill <laughs> when Rain got here. Yeah, uh, the, the rage he, he, just. He split. brought the rage. I used to play Command and Conquer, and uh, remember Total Annihilation, Mike? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. played the shit uh, out of that game. Rain, Mark, do you have a uh, battle? Uh, yeah, you you have BattleNet for Diablo. Download StarCraft Two right now. Do it. All right, right now I'm doing it. I, I'm serious. I, I just made a bunch of space in my hard drive. It's download. free. The, the multiplayer is free, so go download. My hand is busy. I can't. What do you mean to do? Fucking BattleNet, really? What? Go to BattleNet. Yeah, and download StarCraft Two. Okay. Actually, I think I have it already. I'm not buying the expansion, Mike. Shut up. I don't think you need to for the multiplayer, right? It's all all that content comes with the multiplayer. Sure. I don't know. E- How did that work? Because you really downloaded five gigs since I started installing this. Game. I, I haven't purchased any of it. I was playing with you and Joseph those couple times. Yeah, and, and you had I, the new units and everything, uh-huh. correct? Yeah. Uh, so I, I I would imagine it would be the same way with the. Uh, like uh, Legacy of the Void. Right. I can't. My authenticator code is upstairs. Well, go get it. Go get it. I think I just found a secret. Was he going to blow a hole in the wall? Dude, that would be so awesome. It's your own house? Um... No, no, I go to other people's houses and break clay pots and throw bombs. Mike, Mike came down to my house for two years and threw trash in my wall, so. Joel, the boy, the dark side. I wonder if that hole's still there. Probably not. Um, one of these times you're going to hit the fucking camera, Mike. <laughs> that was close. Throwing it that way. Throwing that way. <laughs> it was pretty close. It's not up there. <laughs> I forgot. I actually wrote down some authenticator codes already. Yeah, but they I'm, change. Because I'm smart as hell. <laughs> I just want to facepalm and knock myself out. I already am. <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on. Let me try the other two. Just, just stand by. You do know that these authenticator codes are random and they, like, change constantly. Uh-huh. What do you need codes for? He has an authenticator for Battle.net, I guess. Yeah, but usually you mm. have to put it in once and leave it be if you cl- select it to be like that. Mark doesn't do that. Yeah. Fuck me, I gotta go get one. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Just can't listen. 
Hey, look. Look, I think I see a spot where you can blow up on Mark's basement. It's got a, a secret back there. Yeah. yeah oh, there. that crack in the wall? Yeah. You definitely need to get a bomb over there and blow that out. Somebody's oh. in there. There's a vendor in there. I know it. Or maybe hey, a fairy. You got your rubies? Uh, I'd, yeah, I'd bet more on a fairy living in Mark's basement than there being any kind of vendors. There'd be a whole fairy fountain and it'll give me a new magical power-up. I don't know about all that, Craig. I'm yes! Now. Like a new hat? Hey, what's wrong with my hat? Nothing, I was just kidding. Love it. Stick. Me too. <laughs> I feel like you should be walking around with one of those candles on a stick, walking around your house in some slippers and... I am wearing slippers. That doesn't surprise me. I don't like my feet getting cold. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, there's the authenticator man. They have jeans. They have jeans in Afghanistan. That's a good (laughs) dude. I said India, bitch. (laughs) I thought they just wore. Hey, we're trying to get that Obama support. Mm. Oh, so grouchy. Yeah, I know. Fuck him. He's like DMX. I oh, know that's Master P. My bad. Mm. Oh, well, see, I don't know. It's not really gaming news, so never mind. We're, we're going to stay away from it. What? It's going to ask, brought, ask, oh. ask Craig about the recent, the recent Ohio vote. Oh. No, that is definitely gaming news. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Well, first... To explain what the vote was, and then before you dive into it, explain how it's gaming news, Craig, so we can link all of it together. Okay. So, there was recently a proposition on the ballot in Ohio to legalize marijuana. But the thing that scared everybody away from it, other than the negative propaganda, was Hold the on. idea that... It's bad for you? How... How is it how... bad for you? Stop it! How does this relate to gaming? I want to know the direct correlation to gaming. gaming? Um, Don't give me that, well, duh. I don't want to hear that shit. I want to hear a valid reason, just so that I know how it's linked to to gaming. Because many people like to elevate their mind while they play video games. Uh, Elevate. Okay, yeah. We're going to elevate. (laughs) This is great, because you two are on the sides, and Mike is (laughs) right in the fucking middle of this. It's going to be good. No, but I... All right, so now go ahead. The vote did not pass. The vote did not by, pass. By a huge margin. Right? There's what was the, what was the margin? There, but, um, yeah, Mark people were scared that himself. the idea of one corporation being in control of all the gross sites would uh, be negative for the state. and Like a monopoly. Yes. Exactly. Wasn't there wasn't there a whole taxes thing with that too? That um, because Colorado went through the same thing, didn't they? Yeah, they I denied so. it their first year. The next year, it was a different different law bill. But here's where here's where that becomes a problem is that the issue too that everybody seemed to vote yes on denying monopolies also had a tiny little section in there, basically. Made it much more difficult for um, citizens to initiate issues for the ballot. And now any group that is going to try to push for legalization again is going to have to go through even more hurdles just to get it on the ballot. And my whole thing was, okay, so you don't like the idea of a monopoly, but what fucking corporation isn't a monopoly? And second of all, all you got to do is crack the door open a little bit. It'll get pushed open, you know, get it started. And, and you're talking about crack can... and other drugs. I mean, you no, that, you know. no, no. I'm talking about strictly marijuana. You can reform uh, the laws later. Firm believer and... it's a gateway drug over there in the corner. Basically, who gives a fuck about the monopoly? You've been able to grow your own shit, smoke your own shit, sell your own shit. What? Well, um, so I I read like, ow, I read that like you could get a license, like a a resident, for example. You, mm-hmm. we'll just use you as prime example. 
could get a, a license. What what's involved with that? Like, I, I'm sure you don't just sign a piece of paper that and fill out something. I mean, you could get a license. At least to as be... as as tough as like a driver's test where you have to like get approved for all this shit. Or do you yeah. just no, like? I, I don't think so. It's more of just like a going to the courthouse and getting approved by the corporation. You'd have basically been. I mean, do you have to have a reason? A uh, contracted for it you... expansion of their company. Uh, okay. To um grow and sell to distributors uh, like dispensaries and whatnot. But on the flip side of that, if you just wanted to grow for yourself, there was no restriction. You didn't need a license for that. You could have up to four flowering plants. You could just legally plants. have this much, right? Yeah, uh, I you think could you have know, four flowering you plants, eight ounces. You could carry up to one on you at a time. One plant or one ounce? One ounce. You have to carry a, a plant around with you all the time. <laughs> That's a but, lot to carry on. But the thing with the plants is, <laughs> people walking four around flowering plants. plants allows you to have eight other plants in a different stage of growth that aren't flowering. So you would just constantly have your own supply. It, it sounds like a financial thing for you, I think. Yes, yeah, p- financial, peace of mind. I mean, fuck, man. I don't even smoke that much anymore, but to just not have to worry about the legal issues of it would be <laughs> wonderful. Right. Well, I don't know. Florida just uh, either early, I think it was earlier this year, like in January, February or something, uh, recently went through very similar, uh, I don't know what the exact details were, but it lost by a, like a 1% difference. I mean, mm-hmm. it was that close. So... And um, I think it was very it was very similar to uh, to yours as far as having you know one company running virtually all of it and then you know having the residential stuff. But yeah, it's like you said. It's, I mean, it's gonna st- it's gonna start. It's already started happening in, in a number of states. It's just mm-hmm. taking a little longer for others. But it's gonna all it's gonna happen. So. Um, and the thing is, the first bill that gets passed in any of the, any state at any whenever it happens, the people even for it that get it voted through, they're they're not going to be happy with it for a long time to come after that. It's like you said, you know, just cracking the door open a little bit, and then you know, and then and then the next thing they're going to be legalizing cocaine. Most people are never going to be happy, but smoke a joint and then think about it, and you'll be just fine with the whole thing. <laughs> 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 uh, like all right so rain so for example that'd be a good way to pitch it to like the board or where right we smoke a joint and then think about right, it guys. again <laughs> if you feel the same if you feel the same these joints guys just smoke some and then uh, i'll talk to you about it later <laughs> if you still have the same if, yeah, if you still have the same opinion you can tell me while you're eating all the food that i bring back um oh yeah bring so, cookies and that's a sealed deal <laughs> So, all right, so Rain, you know, uh, a video that's gotten around our YouTube channel and to a number of people that we know and some people we don't, you know, they've seen you flip out insanely on, and they've seen me flip out, but we're, we're going to talk about you because, you know, you, you seem to be, you seem getting, to be a little think. against. Now, imagine if when you were getting angry, <laughs> you just smoked a little weed, Everything would have been fine. You wouldn't have flipped out, blown out your throat, blown out the headphones, static to everything. Nah, nah. Still, still would have. <laughs> don't, don't. I don't know if there's anything that I could have taken apart from maybe a noose that would have stopped me <laughs> from flipping out at that time. Okay. Well, all right. What if your entire Dota team smoked a little bit before each match? I feel like all the matches would go so much more different. Yeah, I, we'd be just uh, all right. We're gonna play a little bit, and, uh, <laughs> and then just fall asleep. All no, right, no. Game, I guys. think I think you'd probably you guys would be happy Dota players. Like you'd try to make friends with the other team. <laughs> uh, we do that all the time. No, no, you don't. No, nah, we. Yeah, you're right. No, you don't. I've always thought of it as an enhancer. Like if you've ah! got something to do. It may help you focus more. If you've got nothing to do, yeah, you're going to take a nap. So you're saying that is a performance-enhancing drug. <laughs> focus-enhancing. 
Fo oh, focus enhancing. Focus enhancing. I like so that. It's, so, all right, either way, you could still consider it a performance-enhancing drug. If it enhances your focus, that means it enhances your performance, correct? I suppose. Mike? So, they need, what? I know <laughs> you were thinking. I saw the fucking wheels spinning. <laughs> well, I was just saying, well, if there's games with focus in them, they just need to start adding weed into these games now, too. Yeah, okay. To buff focus. It allows you to yeah, remove check the distractions. Shop. I'm sure there's, that would... there's things for Skyrim, probably. probably. Right, so it's a performance-enhancing drug, basically. That's what you're saying. So, Or de-enhancing, because, yeah, he might just put you to sleep. I mean, it's going to work different for different people. What is it? Take, was it Rob, Robert, um, Robert, uh, Robin Williams that said it about it? Like, the guy who got the, the gold medals taken away from him because yeah. he was on marijuana? Oh, when yeah. He, yeah, the, the Canadian. Yeah, the yeah. Canadian. Uh, Sean White. Yeah. yeah well, no, like well, a, I don't think it was Sean White. It was someone before Sean White, I thought, wasn't it? Yeah, well, either way. They were yeah, he like, might he, not have been the first one, but he was one of them. Yeah, but the only yeah. way that's a performance enhancing drug if there's a big fucking Hershey bar at the end of the run. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, what Michael Phelps didn't he get uh, in trouble too for smoking weed or some shit? Yeah, but they didn't the take swimmer? his gold medals yeah, away. Yeah, they didn't. Yeah, because like they figured they, they they basically said, okay, well if he was high in swimming, then imagine him sober in swimming, and he's gonna be even fucking faster. So <laughs> let's not just open that. I know. Ever since I sliced my leg open, I get like. Spasm sometimes, and uh, weed helps. See, so you have a medical reason for it. Oh God, here we go. I have There's a bad right. I have a bad right knee that you know acts up all the time when weather changes. Could help with your pain. Yeah. I got bad friends. Would that help I was gonna, I was gonna say, Mark's <laughs> Mark's got a shitty Dota team. I mean, that could you know. <laughs> oh, <what? laughs> That's a medical reason. He's gonna go insane and have, have an aneurysm if he doesn't PhD. calm down. Pure pain relief and no euphoria. Yeah. I, I mean, you can't deny you can't deny the scientific medical proof that it helps a lot of things. Like, it helps high blood pressure. It helps so much stuff. I mean, mm -hmm. and it's There's, I mean, it's organic too. It's not something that is like built in a fucking a drug bad? lab that you're taking for blood pressure that is then going to give you a side effect. Uh, of side death. effect. Side effect of of increased blood pressure. Like, uh. I'm taking this to lower my blood pressure. Why would a side and all the pain relief and anxiety medications that you see commercials for may cause <laughs> fatal bleeding and fucking all anal sorts leakage. of nasty, <laughs> terrible shit. I'm just like, may cause anal leakage. The, the worst, the worst thing you could get from first off, you can't really overdose on weed because you will just pass out before your body could yeah. die. And second. <laughs> Craig, worst side Hoover effect. Video? Worst side effect is like a minor <laughs> headache. <Yeah. laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna see we're, we are we are all tripping out right now. <laughs> Craig, Craig, there's a little person behind you. Like, what the fuck What's is that? What's the neck? Next thing what? comes in with a knife. This? Oh, you shot card. Woo! More what amiibos. We uh, we giving it away? <laughs> no, it's uh. Used. <laughs> so yes, we can give it away. <laughs> yeah, you can have it. Go go for it. <laughs> go for it. Look at he knocked his teeth oh, out of that. Dark right, but... uh, legendary card. <laughs> okay. Did you just say he's dying? No, he wants to play video games when he's done eating. All right. Well, tell him he can't be done eating for like forty-five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> oh, All right, my authenticator code is not working. Need a ball. You need to go downstairs. I will. I, I Just give your kids some weed; it'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It would probably calm him down a bag or two. You can probably just second hand him. Just. And give him that yeah, CBD Mike, Mike could give uh, Chewy some weed. He can calm the fuck down. Oh, poor Chewy. <laughs> yeah, right. He'd love that. And then he'd go haywire when he got the munchies. <laughs> God. <laughs> I, can't, I can't wait to see Chewy. I'm just going to punch him right in the face. Yeah, I'd punch you right in the face. <laughs> and then he'll shit in my shoes. He'll do it. 
Ugh. Would there be a reason why my authenticator code isn't working now? You're probably using, like, the authenticator for SWOTOR is probably what you're trying to do. No, it fucking says Battle.net on there. Look. Well, it comes in backwards, but see, it says Battle.net. It doesn't come in backwards. You're an idiot. <laughs> Did you, there's a sync button on there. Hit the sync button. It don't work. Oh, for <laughs> fuck's sakes, Mark. Sync unsuccessful. Does that well, mean then, I should take it out Maybe it's because you're in the mode? basement. <laughs> I have never had to fucking sync it ever in my life. Now I gotta sync it? Really? Sometimes if you haven't used it for a really long fucking time... They assume you died, so they <laughs> yeah. sync your shit. Hmm. What are you what are you drinking, Mike? Alright. What is that? Chicken. Iced coffee. An iced, iced coffee. Iced coffee. Probably you got can't. weed in there or something, I don't fucking know. I mean you can see that Sly guy pretty much dressed like a weed plant, so <laughs> I like the color green. There's nothing to do with weed. <laughs> uh, huh. So you'd still smoke if weed was brown. No, no, no. I'd go get me some green shit. <laughs> <laughs> they call it brown frown for a reason. What? Because <laughs> you got shit in your mouth? It's a slang term for then. shitty weed. Oh, I thought it just meant you had shit, shit in your mouth. It does taste like shit in your mouth, so I don't smoke that shit. Oh, man. See, now, right now, Mark's not really sinking anything. He's planning a raid through the Ohio authorities right now. Yeah. I have I have StarCraft 2. You want me to install it? Is that what you said? Yes. Let's install it. I mean, by the time you get it installed, the podcast will probably be done, so it'll be pointless. But, for next time. Next time. But, uh, so, that, the Archon mode, that's not coming out till the new expansion, correct? Correct. Which is, like, Tuesday. Oh, for StarCraft, really? Oh, that's too bad. Cool. Better than, better than Fallout. <laughs> yeah, you oh, will. Oh, boy. <laughs> and he's gone. Eh. Fallout will be greatness. Fallout, Fallout will be good. So, all right. So, yeah. So, that comes out Tuesday, right? Yes. They better ship my shit on time. That, if they... Never mind. Um... I upgraded my shipping just so it would get here on Tuesday. So, if it doesn't... I'm going to ask for a refund. Is your pit boy coming with it? Yes. Okay, when you stream it, you have to make sure you have your webcam on and you're showing the pit boy. Oh, for sure. Every time you use the pit boy in game, you better be using the pit boy on your arm. If it's fluid. <laughs> as long as it's I, don't, fucking... I don't think it's integrated, is it? I don't think it's No, yeah, it's it works. It's supposed to work anyway. I mean, I've seen it. I'm just uh... going to I'm just going to get the phone app. And then this will be my Pip Boy, and I'll just Velcro it to my arm. It or, is a phone app. You put your I'll phone in the Pip Boy. Velcro to my. I know. I don't need that big clunky thing. I don't need it either, but it's cool, and I want it. <laughs> How much did that cost? Let's not worry about that. Now. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it comes with a stand too. Oh, oh, well, you should have bought two of them. <laughs> well, no, then I'd be freaking out over two orders waiting to ship. Well, no, you'd only need one to get there, so you would have actually doubled your chances of getting it on time. Yeah. Speaking of smoke. I think that, uh, I don't know. If Where it's not smoke, planning on bags. getting here on time, I may just purchase a digital copy. Oh my god, you psycho. I know, I know, but I gotta right, be see, out that's there where. The that's that, right there. Remember when we had that talk about being addicted to video games? Yes. You're addicted to video games. If you're gonna. Why? If you've already. Know if I would say. No, if you've pre purchased a collector's edition that cost you a bajillion dollars and shipping gets delayed and then you go and buy the full game. For a digital copy, you're you're addicted. Yeah, but are you is he are you can canceling the other one? No, I could exactly. sell or I could sell the uh, Steam key from the other one. Well, isn't that illegal though? Like honestly, isn't that, isn't that against Steam? Put it policy? on eBay for five dollars cheaper, and somebody will snatch it up. I right mean, now. Can, can you do that with Steam keys legally? Oh, yeah. I mean, is eBay gonna be like, uh, what the fuck is this shit? 
I feel no, like people I'm, would already be doing that. I'm pretty sure you can do that. I, that's how I got my Diablo key. Yeah, but that was a Diablo key, not like Steam. St technically, Steam owns that d digital key even when you buy it. To some extent, they still own part of it. You know what I mean? Like the Diablo know, key, to... you had paid for the Diablo game. Well, yeah, I paid for Fallout. Yeah, but then you're buying a digital copy. Maybe if no, I wouldn't sell the digital copy. I would sell the key from the hard copy that I get with the. Oh, oh, oh! Edition. Yeah, that would be. Yeah, okay, that would be fine. That would. Yeah, I guess that would work. What game are we talking about? Fallout, Fallout. Four comes out Tuesday. Oh my God! You don't. You don't play any of the Fallout games. I played um, the Sky, one before Sky Vegas, Vegas, Fallout Three. Fallout did you, Three. Did you really? Excellent. Yeah, I played. I played that for a while, but I never beat it. You only played it because Liam Neeson was the fucking dad actor voice. I actually, I actually didn't know that. Liam Neeson's the dad actor voice for Fallout Three. No shit. That doesn't surprise me. Oh my god, what the hell's going on here? <clears throat> so, um. Yeah, no, Tom, you remember Tommy, right? Tommy used to, he, he like, leveled up throughout the entire game. Never played one mission. He just went around stealing shit from people. Stealing shit, killing and people. Killing, <laughs> yeah, killing stuff. Yeah, but he, he was, like, hot, he was, like, the highest level out of all yeah, of level us. Level 20, yeah. Yeah. Tom, Tom didn't know how to play RPGs very well. I mean, I'm understanding he knew how to there is no... Go ahead. There's no level cap in 4. Oh, yeah, well... Because you level up and you don't level up a number, right? You just level up your skills. Abilities, and shit. skills. Yeah. And you just have to have certain stats to um, do certain skills. Mm -hmm. Which is, that seems to be the way that a lot of uh, games are leaning towards as opposed to just having leveling up. Because leveling up now seems to feel like a limitation. Except in Diablo, where you just keep fucking leveling up Paragon levels till infinity. Mm -hmm. But yep, yeah. Mark. I just feel like that everything is going to engulf in flames pretty soon. I just see constant smoke. Oh, my pants! <laughs> yeah, Fallout this month and Xenoblade next month should be a good time. And Battlefront. And Battlefront. How dare you? How dare you put that at the third on that list? What's wrong with you? I know. Well, but, um, I just we got to rethink. I was talking about RPGs. You better oh, don't even. I'm not oh. getting Xenoblade till Christmas though, so. Oh, oh, well, you're you're gonna resist the the urge. You'll still probably be playing Fallout Four anyway. No, my wife bought me the collector's edition for Christmas, so. It's Gr November. Great. <laughs> yeah. Do you well, not have knows... surprise Christmases anymore? I mean, where you no, tell someone, like where you say, "Hey, I would really like this for Christmas." Okay, and then they, you know that they're going to buy it for you, but collector's they don't just flat out say aren't it. available six or three weeks after launch. I know, but um, at the very least, you should have said, "Honey, turn around." You know what I want for Christmas? And Socks it. and underwear. That's all I want. Jay, get on it. <laughs> I'm going to put the DG logo on every single one. <clears throat> <Yeah>. <laughs> I would just send him your used ones so you don't have to wash them. <laughs> That's actually something that, um, I don't know if you want to bring that up, but if you want to do a... Uh... No, go right ahead. We have 33 minutes. The Never floor mind. is yours. No, what? no, what? no I want to hear this. You've gone Never down mind. this path now. It is basically the same kind of U-turn like when you fucking park the truck in Vermont. Okay, that's what we're doing right now. You can't back out of this one. Yeah, to go down that road. It was my idea. You you were the one driving for one. For two, you were following a GPS system. It, yes, it's such a fucking I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. So we're do not... we, do we want do we want to uh put in orders for shirts so that I have them by the time we get up there? All right, guys, don't all speak at once. Let's let's we, take it. We time. can, but I think then, we don't I... want to spend $80 on shirts right now is the problem. Oh, it's like 40 bucks per shirt. Well, whatever you want to order. Never mind. Forget it. Just forget it. Well, I don't like, understand why. <laughs> why do you look like Bill Cosby, but only white? 
<laughs> I was born this way. Jesus Christ. <laughs> With the hat and everything. Yeah. Zop, zip, pop, doop, jello. <laughs> <laughs> Zip it up. The pudding and the pop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So, I Mark, you were t- talking about used socks and underwear. No, I said that's what I want for Christmas. I want socks and underwear. That's all I want. Don't Maybe you get t-shirts. that every Christmas? Huh? Don't what, I get that every Christmas? Yeah. No. <laughs> you get things that you don't want, like video games and... I honestly can't remember the last time I had a video like, game, like a big present. Yeah, like a video game as a present. You get cologne and <laughs> sprays. He gets old people gifts. Yeah, I want. I really do. I'm. I'm wondering what my last real play. Probably my skis, and that was fucking how long ago? That was when we went right. After- I don't want to talk about skiing. It's depressing. I, how long I haven't skied? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, is there any mountains in Ohio or no? I already asked them. No. It's farmer <laughs> land, you're and, and, and no, land, bro. No means yes, there there is, but he doesn't want to take us to. Yeah, them they're at all. they're they're nowhere near us, and they're very tiny. No, they're not. Yeah, mountains. you won't get the mountains in Ohio. You have to go to Pennsylvania for that. <laughs> Which we already do from New Jersey. So. How, how far? How far? Too uh, far. About three and a half hours, or about what, two and a half hours east. Sure. You, they, it's From probably the mark. It's probably the same like, mountains we would go. I like, like lives so. on a mountain. He just doesn't want to go skiing. I don't want to go skiing. No, we don't live anywhere near. Who wants to do that? You guys are fucking potheads. You don't like skiing? What else? I'm not the pothead. All right. Well. <laughs> I still don't like skiing. I don't like to put labels on things. When it's not warm, he's not even worried about the skiing. He's worried about the five <laughs> guys. That was, that was awesome. I like that a lot. Let's I don't like to put labels, labels on things. I don't call it skiing. I call it no <laughs> shoeing. <laughs> that was funny. All right. Well. So what did we so talk we're going about? skiing? Is that... We talked about BlizzCon already, right? Yeah. Oh, well, we did. <laughs> did you guys talk about Shogal? Yes. Who? The 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 Yo, hero. Shogal? The the, the, oh, the dual oh, player hero. I I feel oh. like if my like two like if Tone and Mosh played <laughs> no. that hero, <laughs> they would be so incompatible that the fucking hero would split in half. <laughs> <laughs> That would be a hilarious like ability, like you're level best, twenty or something. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's the ulti. I can't play with this fucker so, anymore. Split. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. By the time you get to the ulti, you could select one that splits it in case you just can't fucking deal with it. Anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Stay together or split. That's the ulti. <laughs> That's your did you choice. did you guys play that uh, WoW when he was out as a raid boss? Were you okay? Never mind. No, Don't all speak thinking, at once. Thinking. I don't know. When like, was that? I've never played, played well, up to Wrath. Yeah, which like, one was he? The, what, me was he the one that was on a... Uh, I think it was t- Bastion of Twilight or something. When I was looking it up, I think it said Bastion of Twilight. And I, for some reason, I cannot remember, I remember the that. fight. I can't remember most of those fights. Actually, I can't remember the fucking Star Wars fights. You should have seen us playing Explosive Conflict. Do you remember, Mark, with uh, Kephis and the two tanks? Yeah, the two tanks that we yeah. couldn't ever down. Yeah, well, you know, now everything's scaled and whatever, so the the daily op was that op. So we went in with... Yeah, well, you were the, you were there. You joined the team speak. Towards... That was the one with the two bosses in the beginning, right? And then the, yeah. and then the, du- and then the dual tanks right after. Right after, yeah. yeah. And then there was the minefield. And oh, then, that minefield. And then Kepis. Static mark. Static mark. All right, all right, all right. Um, it's funny because it, I don't think that goes through the stream because your your Skype thing wasn't blinking. But anyway, um, yeah, it was fun. Let me tell you, but long as fuck. I don't remember. What we, oh, the point is, you're asking us to remember a fight from WoW. We couldn't fucking remember a fight from Swotor yeah. that we had been do. And how many times did we fucking do it? And we couldn't remember. 
Uh, Jer forgot about the two tanks that one, the one tank on uh, Stormcaller has to run around in the middle phase. So the first time, her whole group just exploded. Yeah, she was in the bubble. She with was us. in the bubble with them. Yeah, spiking us. Did we ever make it to that boss when we were playing with Mosh? No, I don't think so. Because we only did the first two, and I remember. The only memory I have with Mosh was really in that game, and in, I brought it up like three times yesterday. Was the Karaga's Palace trash boss with the fucking <laughs> the bomb that would go on people, and they'd have to run away from the group so they don't blow up everyone. And he would tell everyone else, well, if you see it on me, move away. Yeah. Well, no, no, you're asking, you're telling the tank on the boss to run away from you, is what you're telling. Guys, it's on me, run away. No, the, the idea no. is for you to you run to away. You to run away. That's, so. <laughs> <That's stupid. laughs> That's the fucking mechanic. I our, don't understand why we're arguing our, about this. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, you understand, because you know the kid. You just <laughs> argue because it's his way, or, or, or it's just stupid. Ugh. <laughs> Uh, man, did it damage the boss when it exploded? No. No. Well, then, yeah, he yeah. should have ran away. It did like a Actually, knockback or something when it blew up people. I, I do miss raiding a little bit. Well, the game's free. <laughs> and. Uh, and the scales, you said. Yes. So you wouldn't even have to level anyone. What's What's the cap now? Seventy. Sixty-five. What am I at? Fifty. 55. 55? Yeah, because you did the... Would you need a tank, or would expansion. you need somebody else? Yes. Yes, so, okay. <laughs> tank preferably. It was, it Otherwise... was a this or that, not a yes or no question. <laughs> it was a yes or no. <laughs> we always need tanks, man. Okay. There's so much of this game, I haven't even leveled an alt yet. Holy fuck. Which will probably be a tank. Fast. What? What? Battle.net tells me I'm downloading at almost 9 megabytes a second. It's incredible. Did you get it all downloaded, Mark? Yeah, I'm at, uh... You're an idiot. I'm playable. <laughs> That's not playable. <laughs> I don't ever it trust that playable. thing. I don't ever trust that thing. You have all the required files to begin playing. The game will continue to download in the background. But I am maybe an eighth of the way through the bar. All right. I have 12.5 gigs remaining at thir at 3 megabytes a second. Does that make any sense? Yeah, it does, actually. <laughs> actually, mega, mega Yeah, okay, I got it. Mega gigs? That's what you were trying to say when you were going to fuck it up, but you didn't fuck it up, so it's, you said it right. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, yeah. Bytes yeah. are capitalized, bits are... Why did you why did you put Fupa in the, the fucking <clears throat> chat? I don't understand. Tell me what movie that's from. Fupa? I don't yeah. know. Fupa. No? Can't remember? Forgetting Mike, think, Mike thinks it was Star Wars episode three. No. <laughs> Fupa <laughs> is from from uh Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Remember when he was doing the yoga thing? Yeah. And he's like, he goes, okay, we're going to go into a uh, more advanced hold, uh, the tripod headstand or whatever. And he's like, anybody who's not comfortable, just lay in child's pose. And she's like staring right at him. And he's like, I got it, lady. I got it. <laughs> so he gets up. He goes, that was an awesome movie. He, goes, he gets up. He goes, Fupa! and he goes, what's up? My legs. That's what. <laughs> I don't remember that from Forgiving Star Marshall, but I'll take your word. What? Yeah. Are you drinking vodka? You know it's only like 2.30, right? Oh, uh, vodka. No, I'm not drinking vodka. Vodka and a cigar. Know, you know I don't drink vodka. What the fuck is wrong with you? I know, Mark. I know. Why not? Well, there was just... Well, guess what? Guess what? There was I've this got... one time when we were 18. <laughs> I've got like three bottles of vodka, Mark, that you have to finish. Why? What do you you only smoke? You don't drink? I only <laughs> smoke. <laughs> the guy in all green, he's up above me. I like so, brown liquor. Are you talking about God or well, I don't understand? 
Oh my <laughs> what, what does that mean? Well, some have referred to me. In my in my in my actual Skype call, he's above me. Well, that's not what we see, Mike. I know, Mark. I was trying to correct it, but you're being a dick. Podcast positions. <laughs> I don't. No, I don't smoke, sir. Okay, All right. I figured that. It'd fuck. It would fuck with it, his uh, I, blood sugar. I think you would know by now. Actually, it would fuck with your blood sugar. The diabetics. <laughs> Well, doesn't it depend on which kind of diabetic? Be white Russians all fucking week. He's the same type as my wife, so. Uh... What? what? So what? She, so what? He's what? Uh, what? Girl? Huh? His his, his wife. wife. Whose wife? My wife. Yeah. So you're saying Mike's a girl? Mike's a woman? <sighs> no. <Mike>. I'm... <laughs> that would explain some things. But it. <laughs> you're such an ass. I can't wait to go to Ohio, dude. I'm so fucking excited. <laughs> I'm hey, so... it's only, I mean, it's 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 like what? Just over a month away. What, you know, 38 my, my, days or something? My father's in Ohio right now, actually. He went to the Ohio State game yesterday. Yeah, hey, like Tony said, he's getting wasted. Yeah. He's getting hammered. He hammered. actually said, actually, hammered. this, well, I don't know if I could show it in Twitch chat. Probably not a good idea. But, um, he was sitting on a stump, right? And the stump looked like two legs, and it had like a branch coming out. Looked like a dick. It was the fucking coolest thing ever. <laughs> I'll send it in the in the uh, in the group chat. Okay, can't wait. We get bored in Ohio. Is that sable? That's a sable. I see a sable nose. Is it a black nose? Yes. Do you have a black nose? All right. So what? Uh. So what did we talk? Did we, so we talked about BlizzCon. Did did Matt ever end up? Uh, I don't think he ever ended up streaming, did he? No. That sucks. No. Yeah, he, he never ended up doing it. Did he but have fun? he is repping on the shirt. I don't know. I don't know. He's probably passed out right now. I have no idea. He was like, he's, he said that he's like, oh, we need more DGers, and I was like, all right, I'm coming next year. He goes, I'm not coming next year. What the fuck? Well, he, he's going to a different con. Is all it is. So go to that one. It's fine. Right. Yeah, I'm not going. Oh. Fair enough. I, and to be to be honest, I since I don't really play much of the Blizzard games, I'd prefer to go to another con than BlizzCon. Even as big as BlizzCon is, from uh, my own interest in coverage and whatever, there'd just be a lot more going on at other cons. Hmm. Just to be more whatever games, more whatever. I'm gonna go to Comic Con. Do, do any of you have I think a you like, guys GoPro are just or anything Ohio like that? Comic Con? No. No, I do no. not. So exactly. I want to kind of I want to record the uh, the uh, vid the um move not the movie but like the, the trip. going into the movie and shit and trip and stuff. Figured a uh, a GoPro would be awesome. So have you figured out what we're dressing up as, or are we getting like uh, sweatshirts and shit? We're we're all getting sweaters like mics, but they have to be knitted. Nice sweaters like mics. Nice ugly sweaters like mics. But they have to be knitted. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Good luck finding that. Look, like, I I actually for a second there thought Mike just bent over to throw up. No. Didn't. Oh shit. How, how old is your chair? It sounds like a. Sounds like it's a hundred years old. It's not, sure. Oh. Is that what you're doing? So. Oh, no, it's All probably newer right. than yours. Yeah, definitely. Look at that. That chair over there. That looks like a pretty new chair. Looks nice. It's nice. It's never been used. <laughs> well, <laughs> he likes to sit in really uh, shitty chairs instead I, of I, that. What do, you got a, what do you got a fold-out chair? The chair that I'm sitting in right now was a was a uh, kitchen chair from when I was like maybe from when my you lived on the lakeside house. house right? Yeah, long time ago. Yeah, long time ago. I remember that house. Yeah, it was a little. When I knew you in it, it was it just got finished. All the renovation bullshit you guys have been doing, and then you moved. Yes, <laughs> that was when you came over looking for me, That's and we didn't goes. live in the house anymore. He didn't tell me he moved. He didn't tell. <laughs> he made plans, made plans to sleep. We, we made Here's sleepover plans. We made sleepover plans. Okay, and I, this is when I played basketball for oh, the YMCA. Hold on. We have we, we didn't hang out like we we hung out all through like elementary. When school. when and we then, went to middle school, we were in different halls, so we didn't yeah, see each so, other that much. So we didn't like for the first in sixth grade, I think it was. We didn't really hang out at, like 
at all. It had and to be like planned grade, and shit. Yeah. And then seventh grade, we started hanging out again, and I moved to my grandmother's house, and um, we started talking. This was before cell phones, by the way. Yeah, so, there were no cell phones with this. So I call him, and I was I almost went like this. So I call him, and we, you know, it's more we like I called him. You gotta have the right size. Yeah, it's more phone. like like oh, I called them. You know, like the I thing called them with the huge thing, <laughs> the, the dial, the, the road. <laughs> crack, I called the, the operator. <laughs> and then uh, switchboard. We... <laughs> so it's oh, him and his father. Yeah. They, they, I called them. You know, just uh, stand by. Hold on. We actually second. used cans with a string. Is how we <laughs> operator no sash, please. <laughs> <laughs> Carry your pigeons. So I call, I call, he has his parent, he has his father and him. He's going to come pick me up. And I'm like, oh, yeah, was, he's coming to pick me up. So, so my mother goes, well, now, I, I went to a basketball him? game. So, there, you know, there's no way for him to reach, reach anyone. Right. So, so like in the meantime, I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm excited. He's coming to pick me up. We're going to go hang out. And my mother goes, Mark, does he know where you live? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, shit, we moved. And so I tried calling him, and no one was ever answered because he was in a basketball game. So he goes to the house. And right my, after we, the game, we went to go pick him up on the way home. So <laughs> he, he's, so we're not there. <laughs> Jay, walk, tell him what, what happened. I, I forget I, what happened. He I, me, up. the kid, so I knock on the door. My parents are waiting in the car, you know, waiting for <laughs> to get Mark. Someone I've never seen before in my life answers the door. And it's very awkward, and I go... Do the Maceronis live here? <laughs> it's like, no, they moved. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so they leave. You they really leave. Oh, they went to, to a payphone to call Mark. Because what? You had the same number, right? <laughs> yeah, I still had the same same house was, number. No, so or same phone me, number. Yeah. And he had to come pick us up. So he comes, pulls up, he goes, you're an idiot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> probably, probably where the where the you're an idiot phrase began was at that on that that day. The funniest thing ever because I I was like oh god like what's gonna happen here you know it's, it's like <laughs> what could you have been worried like, about the worst thing like, would have been I went out. home heard well, the like, messages and then went. <laughs> I'm freaking out because I'm like, well, we need to go to the house. My mother's like, no, we're not going to the house to sit there to wait for him to come to camp outside of someone else's yeah. house. Yeah. So, look yeah, before cell phones, could you imagine, man? Uh, fuck, I don't know how we did it back in the day. So, well, compared yeah. to now, yeah, I don't fucking know. We actually made plans. Yeah, that's what it was. Is you actually made plans and stuck to them. Now you could just cancel them on a fucking whim. <laughs> Yeah. Be like, yeah, that sounds great. And then 10 minutes later, no, I can't do it. Back in the day, you couldn't cancel. You had to go through it. You had to it. go. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you you made plans. You did it. Do, do you remember when I was like, oh, yeah, we're going to come over. Or I'm coming over. Dad will drop me off. And it was like four hours went by. My father yeah. still was yeah. – he wouldn't drop me off. He had like – he was doing shit around the house. Yeah. But when I asked him, he was like, yeah, I'll bring you over. All right, soon? Yeah, yeah, soon. And, you know, two, three hours later, be like, Dad, are you, you ever going to bring me? He's like, Mark, stop! Yeah, all of a sudden, you're like, bugging him. I'm like, that, it's three hours. Like, what the fuck? By the time J I get there, Jay's dad could have came and picked me up. <laughs> By now, we would have been yeah. over there. Oh my god, it was a fucking disaster back in the day. Yeah, yeah, we had such a such a bad childhood. Let me tell you, it was so, dude, horrendous. I was so deprived, man, so deprived. No cell phones. You had a Nintendo, Mark. Mike and Contra. I lived like a quarter mile from yeah. each other, so it was all good. Do you remember, all right, so you remember, you know, Kyle, li where Kyle lived. Right. He no, he don't. lived past where Mark lived at this house that, you know, where he moved from and didn't tell me. Well, Kyle, he would make me ride my bike, and it was like, I don't know, fucking probably two miles away or more. From your like, house? From my house, yeah. Dude, would, no, it's a lot farther than two miles. Okay, bro. well, so there you go. I would ride, I would, he would make me ride my bike, and this shit was uphill to get to his house. It was... Such a pain in the ass. Oh, because you know, you know how Kyle was then. He wouldn't yeah. fucking do anything if he could make you do something. <laughs> like, yeah, come over. All right. You're like, no. Uh, how about you come, just, uh, come over just here? Right. Just ride your bike. What the fuck? Like, like it'd just... be your idea to have someone come over, and then he'd be yeah. like, no. How about you just come over here? So he wouldn't have to. <laughs> just... Yeah, just ride your bike. Oh, uh, yeah. Sh all right, I'll be there in a half hour. <laughs> fucking half hour bike ride. By the time you get there, you're gonna, you want to take a nap. Every time you get there, you gotta go home. Yeah. Like, we used to ride bikes all over the place. Yeah, we did bike. I I always rode a mountain bike. Everyone else had 
the Razor scooters or the, the, the skateboards or whatever, and I rode around on a fucking mountain bike. <laughs> well, I, I think I used your Razor scooter. Wasn't it yours? Yeah. 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 I was talking about that the other day with somebody uh, um, where, like, our hangout was over near, uh, is it Dover Park, I think? Dover Park Plaza, yeah. Yeah, over there. And I said, you know, we used to try, that was, I said, that was back in my skating days, you know, when we, when I realized I couldn't ride a skateboard, so I just went to a scooter. <laughs> I said, we had a guy that rode around in a, in a mountain bike. We had a, we had a dude that uh, skateboarded, and I was on a raise, and I was on a little scooter. I said, we were the most retarded group of kids you've ever seen. Yep, pretty much. And then I made my custom skateboard, which I still have. Mike, Mike what'd you do when you were a kid? Nothing. He had that well, well, we we all had mountain bikes because you know we got mountains all over the place around here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I fucking knew it, you son of a bitch. That's right, <laughs> big liars. You, you ain't you skiing. Now, for some reason, you, it's, uh, Craig lives a quarter mile away. Craig's I see house. Mike on a big mountain, and then Craig's house is like a normal, normal place. Mike, like I said, you used to ski to Craig's house every day when we went <laughs> hang out with him. Cross country. We would go everywhere. Yeah, those big snowshoes. We all had huskies, snow snow sleds, and everything. Oh, mush. That what, that's what Chewy and Sable are from, or from the the mush days. Yeah, that's how they got hey. around. I was thinking about um, not to change the <laughs> subject, but I was thinking about like one of these podcasts. We should do like a uh, like a um, like a game or something, like a board game. I want it. I want. I've been wanting there, to. Would there be a way to do that? I feel like you're taking my idea that I've been wanting to do for a long time. Monopoly. Yeah, we can do that. It, there's a tabletop simulator. It costs Nine hours. Oh, we need more than two podcast. hours. <laughs> well, the thing with tabletop simulator, you can save the game. The only problem would be is the next like twenty podcasts would be the same group of people. <laughs> <laughs> now, I was actually talking uh, to to Alicia. Um, I said it'd be really cool if we had like a game night. You know, we, we didn't necessarily even need to stream it. It'd be fun to, but not necessarily. Just something where we could relax. It's kind of like, we, remember we did poker nights all the time? Yeah. I, st- no. I have a poker table. I know. We used it like twice, it, I think. I, yeah, we literally used it twice. That was it. And it was I awesome. I still have it down here. But... Yeah, it was really nice. You, flip, you could flip the table up, and it was, I mean, we even had the chips and shit. Didn't yeah. matter. I think it's because everyone around us, everybody that we hung out with, was so goddamn cheap they didn't want to spend money. Like a oh, five five dollar game, yeah, oh, you know I can't. What do you mean? It's five dollars, man. Could, could I could I spare a dollar for what? Yeah. What what for what? Just give me a fucking dollar. <laughs> My life's gonna end if you don't give me a dollar. That's for what? How about that? Well, that's all he would want to know. <laughs> that dog looks so serious right now. All business. <clears throat> Mark static. Static. I don't know. There, good job. <laughs> is it still there or no? That is no. like the, the most relaxed husky I think I've ever seen. Who is here? Do we know who the juggler is? Yep. That's is that true. you? I, I had a feeling. Okay. <laughs> Mark, static. I'm kind of. Is it gone? Nope. No. <laughs> oh my god. Put the headphones on, Chewy. I'm no. listening. <laughs> the, oh, the dog, I like how the dog keeps grabbing your arm. It's like, stop, keep petting me. <laughs> no, that's what he does. You'll find he, out. You'll find he, out. He's got, he's got the husky put... eyebrows, too. Yeah. Where, where like, like if you, it, it, like he's just got that 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 no eyebrow face. Remember, <laughs> no eyebrows. No eyebrows. Yeah. Who was no eyebrows? You. Is that, is that me? Yeah. No eyebrows. Because your 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 brow doesn't move. All your facial expressions, just nothing. Statue face. Yeah. So, do you bring your dogs a lot of places, Mike? Or do you keep them home most of the time? Is no, my mic on? Or oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I used I used to take him when it was just Sable. I took her everywhere. Yeah. But Chewie's got to be leashed up, so I don't go as many places with him. Why is he crazy? 
Yeah, look at yeah, him. He's, he's, <laughs> he's tired yeah. right now. <laughs> he's young. He, I mean, he would run if he wasn't. But he can get chaotic around a lot of people. All the smells. How, how many people are we going to have in this house? By the way? <laughs> I don't know. Like <laughs> six. Oh, that's, okay, that's a lot less than I actually thought. I thought we were going to have like ten people in there. I mean, it all depends on who's over, but I mean, actually staying should only be six. Yeah, I mean, because I'm sure Craig will be over hanging out. Joseph will probably be there at some point. It'll be a party house. That whole house is going to get burned down. I'm pretty sure all I'm bringing is underwear <laughs> and socks, socks from Christmas. And then wearing the same shit. And then anything that I'm going to buy. Is there like a store near you? No, we have nothing. There's there's mountains <laughs> everywhere. You can't build stores. They, 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 he knitted that sweatshirt mountain. himself. I out, of chewy, out of Chewy, so chewy and Sable's fur. <laughs> well, you have dogs. I mean, it's just... <laughs> You gotta shave them, make your yeah. shirts out of dog fur. All right, well, it looks like I'm gonna be wearing all your clothes. <laughs> all the fuck. I'm gonna be. Every day I'm gonna have a new Bill Cosby hat on. It's gonna be great. I've only got two right now, so calm nice. yourself. All right, I'll buy you one when I get there. Okay, thank you. See, I, well, look, I even have the other one right here. You're gonna have to do it before you get there because we don't have any stores. I <laughs> 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 have to kill all our food. <laughs> That dog is awesome. Holy shit. Yeah, look at his eyes. <laughs> like, whoa. Like, he looks so Because he can't Literally. hear anything. Oh, no. <laughs> it looks like an India hat. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not. It's not India at all. So, all right. Well, awesome. I'm glad. There's only going to be six people. Well, yeah, I guess just the people you pick up are the people that would stay there, right? Do you have a roommate or no? No. She's got two okay. dogs. So two dogs. How many rooms? Well, three. Well, you have to think about it? What? I don't well, understand. I how long have you lived all, in the house? All this shit that I have in the one room, I'm going to have to do something with it. <laughs> <shit. laughs> There's a couch in there and a coffee table in there, and it pretty much fills that room. Okay, well, well, whatever. People sleep on the couch, right? I mean, that's... And the coffee table. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> what the... <laughs> Keep petting me. <laughs> Look at it! That is funny as hell. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good. That's so needy. Needy. <laughs> Look right at the camera. <laughs> oh. uh, all right. So, any any closing remarks other than Chewy's? That was uh, what no. a shitty podcast. <laughs> you weren't here for the fucking topics. It went downhill. I was, I was when a you fucking got... half hour late. You're saying that as soon as I came on, it no, was we were we were on it. Down we, were, we were it on it. Fucking down, it's like a snowball down a mountain. They call it an avalanche. Well, the uh, biggest issue was like we didn't have anyone here that really plays any of the Blizzard games, like like religiously. I mean, Mike plays Heroes more than anyone here. Craig shitty. plays a little bit. I've played I can, I've, all of all of them a little bit. It's just you know, macaroni. Time. Macaroni's on Battle.net. Macaroni. Yeah, Marcelio Macaroni. And oh. also, the, I was kind of planning on us doing like StarCraft against each other, but you were like super late and you didn't have it downloaded, so you guys I, fucked it up pretty much. I can play. No, I can't actually. I got to go fix the fucking Christmas lights that we never took down from last year. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so. But anyway, so as far as the game night and stuff, Mark, search Tabletop Simulator on Steam. There's actually a four-pack that I plan to buy and give out to people. That would okay. be the ideal plan. Because I think it's $20 for the single tabletop, but then it's like, I think it's only like 40 bucks for a four-pack. So it doesn't make sense not to get the four-pack. Um, and then and then you could just, what do you, you, oh, okay. You well, and it comes with, with it, our faces or something, or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I could set it up kind of how I have it here. It wouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, and then there, the cool part is there's... It comes with, like, a whole bunch of card games. Like, if we wanted to do a, a, a 
Poker Night, we could do it without downloading anything. So. And then all the different add-ons and other games and shit you download from the Steam Workshop for free. So It's pretty cool, pretty cool. But anyway, all right, we're going to wrap this up. So uh, hopefully when Flyzer comes back around, um, he'll have some more BlizzCon. We'll do like a sort of interview type thing with him about the BlizzCon, see what uh, what new things kind of took place and whatnot. So, And and I really want to get like a first uh, hand experience of what happened to the, the whole us getting dicked out of our spot. He'll blame it on the back of the shirt. That's the first thing. Yeah, yeah probably. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, everyone, thank you for watching. You guys, thanks for joining and giving your two cents. Mark, thanks for showing up late. You're welcome and, with my two uh, cents back. <laughs> and uh, you guys have <laughs> a good day. Follow us, follow us on all of our places. Search us in Google, in YouTube, in Facebook, everywhere. Get ready for uh, the show, show your support. Keep us going. Yeah, yeah. Fallout coming up soon. Uh, not sure what we have streaming for the rest of the day. Who's out here? I don't think I don't know if Flyzik will be on tonight or not. So we might have someone else fill in the spot. But anyway, have a good night. Later. Say bye. goodbye, guys.